Support for this video comes from TunnelBear. TunnelBear is the simple privacy app that makes it easy to browse securely and enjoy a more open internet. To try TunnelBear for free, go to tunnelbear.com slash techsource. What's up guys, it's Adam from TechSource and welcome back to another vlog on the channel. I know it's been a while, but today we're gonna to be focusing on cleaning up the loft area so that I can shoot the second episode of building the ultimate gaming setup. And I wanna give you guys an update on what the loft currently looks like. So here is the current situation of the loft and as you guys can see, uh, there has definitely been a lot of changes from the last time I've showed you guys this. Uh, the major change is the sectional couch that I finally have added in the loft. Another change is I've actually moved the 55 inch nanocell TV to my bedroom and I upgraded it to the 65 inch 4K TV from LG as well and I did drill holes in the wall to route the cables in. So as you guys can see, there's no cables there. Uh, I hooked up the LG soundbar. I also added the HTC Vive, just like I promised. We got the PS4 Pro there, currently waiting on some D-brand skins. And uh, the HTC Vive is currently hooked up to my Asus Zephyrus laptop. That is currently what's running the Vive system. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm gonna be planning on building a PC and I'm gonna mount it on the top of the TV. That's probably gonna be the last thing I'm gonna be doing to the gaming setup. And I'm gonna be adding some RGB strips. Uh, I actually have two packages here. I'm currently gonna be testing both of them out. I'm not sure which one I want to use. Now the difference between these strips and the LifeX ones that I was planning on using is that these come with individual strips, which makes it a lot easier for me to put it in different sections of the TV. Like I wanna put one on the top, put one on the sides, and I wanna put one on the bottom. But this one does come with individual strips, so it gives me the ability to do like the sharp corners. If I were to get the one long strip, and if I wanted to cut the corner, it's gonna be, it's, it's, it's not gonna look good. So that is why I went with those. In terms of quality, I'm gonna have to test both of these out. This one was like 40, 50 bucks, so this one is more pricier. I think I spent about 15 bucks on this one from Hit Lights, but I'm gonna test those out. I'm gonna be working on some cable management. I did buy an HTC Vive controller dock, which I'm gonna be hooking up, I don't know, against the wall or something. Um, and then I gotta find a place for the PS4 Pro. And one last thing is this wall shelf that I picked up from Wayfair. I'm thinking about mounting it against the wall over here. I did buy one just to test it out. If it looks good, I'll buy another one and put it on the opposite side as well. The only thing I don't like about the current setup is this wire that's running all the way down from the sensor from the HTC Vive. And there's two of them. There's one on that side and there's one on this side. So yeah, definitely some cable management is gonna, gonna be needed. And I wanna figure out where I'm gonna be installing this wall shelf. But so far, I'm really liking how everything is turning out. Uh, definitely with these small minor touches, it's gonna improve greatly and I can finally focus on recording the second video of building the ultimate setup. Uh, there is no real color scheme, by the way, guys. It's gonna be mostly blacks. So it's gonna be an all black setup because I do have a black couch. So yeah, there might be some minor red accents and stuff, but no real dominant color scheme. Um, I just want this setup to look sick and I want it to have function, a lot of function. That's the main thing here. And of course, it has to be aesthetically pleasing. If it's not aesthetically pleasing, it is not made by Texors. It's not made by me. But anyways, let's get going. Let's uh, start off by, I guess we can start off by figuring out a place for the wall shelf and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so obviously the first thing I wanna do is before I mount the shelf is I wanna make sure that it's gonna be level with the TV and the TV stand, of course, the ground as well. So I picked up this laser leveler. I think that's what it's called from Amazon. Uh, this thing was pretty pricey. The tripod itself was about 50 bucks. And this was, I think, around 100. I don't recommend this to obviously everyone unless you're doing very sensitive, uh, big projects. So it's got two buttons on here. I can press one for the horizontal level. You guys can see over there. It also has a vertical laser as well. And the cool thing about this is no matter how uneven your floor is, it's got like a built-in gimbal system or something. If you guys can see that it's always gonna adjust itself so that way it's perfectly straight. So there's the horizontal line basically telling you that is what's gonna be parallel to the ground. And the vertical line is 
to see how straight you want things. And if you guys can see, the TV isn't exactly straight, so I have to kind of adjust it, but I'll work on that later. All right, so now that is completed, I'm definitely gonna be ordering one more so I can put it on the opposite side. It turned out actually pretty good. It's not too big, it's not too long, and I left a little bit of space near the back there. That way I can route the cable in the corner there. I'm gonna get some clips and then run it straight down into that corner and then into the back of the stand. So yeah, pretty good. Let's, uh, now let's go ahead and do the LED strips or the RGB strips behind the TV. And then from there, we can go ahead and organize the Vive and then the Vive stand. I actually wanna show you guys the updated um, room layout because I've actually changed a few things. I moved my charging station into my editing room. And as you guys can see, I added a few more things and even uh, some micro USB cables on the side here with magnetic cables. In case I need to charge like the HTC Vive controllers or power banks and stuff like that. And I hung the play button, 1 million play button in this room because, because while I was filming, it fell off from the center and almost destroyed whatever it was that I, I was recording uh, because I suck at mounting things, simple as that. So instead I covered up the holes and stuff with some more acoustic foams. And as you guys can see, it's just a square um, design right now. And as far as the silver play button, it's actually on the opposite side with some more acoustic foams. And that is what this room is currently looking like. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna be going with the SLR Color Connect RGB strips. Uh, this is what comes with the box. You get those four strips. I think they're uh, 24 inches long, each one. There's four of them. Uh, this is the power connection for that. And there's a bunch of other cables. These are gonna be like the extension cables. Uh, there's some in different lengths. There are shorter ones. These are like the medium size and these are the super long ones. So if you guys want to put them in like super difficult, hard to reach places, then, you know, this set is basically perfect. Maybe you want to put like each strip under like a, a set of stairs or something, pull one under the kitchen counter and put the other one, I don't know, somewhere next to the microwave, stuff like that. That's why they give you these long cables so you guys can route them all and not have to worry about um, connection problems. It also comes with a pretty cool looking remote. So that's pretty dope. And then you also get two sets of mounting hardware. It does come with adhesive strips in the back, obviously. So if you're gonna mount it against a desk, for example, or a TV, then you're fine. But this is more so uh, if you wanna mount it against, uh, for example, your wall or something like that, that doesn't really work well against adhesive strips. Holiday shoppers are already taking advantage of online sales but assuring a secure connection is becoming more challenging. This is one of the reasons why people use TunnelBear. TunnelBear is an easy to use VPN that encrypts your internet traffic on up to five devices. Even if you connect to an unsecure Wi-Fi network, TunnelBear will keep your connection private and guard against theft of your personal information. You can try TunnelBear for free when you visit tunnelbear.com slash techsource. Moment of truth, here we go. Here we not go. Maybe it's off, let's turn it on. Nope. So it means I obviously connected something wrong. Or did, oh no, oh wow. Oh yes. 
damn that looks pretty sweet so yep looks like it is working and obviously I can use the remote to change the colors I just have to aim it at the actual sensor so yeah that looks pretty cool the only problem is the sensor is really bad the infrared sensor right there I am aiming directly at it and it's not registering the keystrokes I'm gonna have to put that somewhere that's clearly visible because if it's not even reaching at this point this distance then let me turn the lights off completely then we'll see how it really looks like Haha, <laughs> yes, that looks sick. The camera is acting up right now. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but it's not like that in uh, real life. Stuttering, I don't know if it's from the shutter speed or from the camera or what. There we go, it's a different color. This one seems to look better. And that's as bright as it can get, guys. Unfortunately, the camera does not do it justice. It looks so much better in person, to be honest. All right, so next step, uh, I want to run the cables from the Vive headset through the hole down here into the wall and up through that hole over there because these cables coming from the headset are supposed to connect to uh, this control panel, I guess is what it's called. And this end is connected to the PC uh, via USB and the HDMI. I need to connect these cables up there because that is where the control panel is going to be as close to the PC as possible and this entire cable is going to run down the TV out that end and the headset is going to come out from there and there's plenty of wire slack so I'm not going to have to worry about that but I don't have a PC right now unfortunately so I'm going to continue using the Asus Zephyrus to power up the Vive which is doing a phenomenal job first world problems I know I'm using a freaking high-end powered gaming laptop to run my Vive instead of a desktop PC. But anyways, let's go and get these routed through the wall and uh, see how it turns out. All right, so this is what I've got so far. I added the LED lights, worked on some cable management near the back, uh, cleaned up the surface a bit. I added the PS4 Pro inside the glass there. The HTC Vive headset is down there. So if I need to use it, basically just grab it out. The cable's coming out from the back end and it's actually through the wall and through the back of the TV currently. And there's still plenty of slack over here to move around in the loft. So I feel like I put the headset in a really good spot. So I wanna put this back inside. I also decided to move my Vive controller stand to the charging station, which makes a lot more sense. I mean, if I'm gonna be charging something, might as well move it to the charging station. The thing I love about the charging dock is it's actually magnetic. I've hooked up a micro USB adapter on the bottom of both of the controllers. So basically all I have to do is lower it down in the dock. Might have to wiggle a little bit just to find the spot and then it snaps in place and begins charging. Convenience wise, this is one of the best options out there. Actually, I looked everywhere to find a decent charging dock for the Vive controllers. And this is the only one I could find that that's actually, that actually looks good. Also green means it's fully charged and red means it's currently charging. So that's a really cool indicator to let you know if your controllers are juiced up and ready to go. But if you guys wanna check that out, I'll drop a link to it below, as well as everything I mentioned in this video, of course. <laughs> Alright guys, so there it is, finally completed, very productive day. Um, I finished up the cable management portion for that sensor and the one for this corner, looking a lot cleaner. Unfortunately, there's no way to hide the cable, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. Uh, I mean, technically I can add a white cable raceway, but it's gonna be way too obvious because it's gonna be a lot bigger than a simple black cable going down. So surprisingly, it's not bothering me as much as I thought it would. So I'm gonna leave it that way. 
Uh, the only thing left to do is to pick up one more shelf, put it on the opposite side, uh, find out some really clean looking headphone hangers and controller docks for the PS4 and for the HTC Vive controller. Finally build the PC that's gonna be powering this entire ultimate gaming setup. I also put the Asus Zephyrus laptop down there if I'm not using it, but obviously if I'm playing on the Vive, I'm gonna take it out, put it on top of the stand and then hook it up to the Vive controllers. Uh, the remote sensor, I left it there, which I think it's a lot easier to access. Let me try it out actually. All right, let's test it out. So I'm basically gonna just aim down towards the stand. You kind of have to play around with it. It's, it's not very accurate. That's one of the things I hate about this RGB strip, but the quality is really good. So I'm gonna have to deal with it. Maybe I'll just bring it closer. Let me try bringing it closer. All right, so it's pretty much at the edge of the stand. Let's try this again. Off. Okay, that worked. On, off, on. So yeah, I, I, it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Whatever. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up the vlog. I hope you, I hope, huh? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to toss a like to show your support. If you guys didn't like it, feel free to dislike as well. That's completely fine too. Let me know your feedback in the comment section below. Uh, what do you guys think about the uh, setup that I'm building right now? If there's anything you want to change, if there's anything I should modify, any recommendations for the headphone stand and stuff like that, leave it all below. I'll be reading the comments. But anyways, love your faces. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.